Hi, my name is Ami Magani. I work for Progression Technologies. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to import an AutoCAD file. Um, an AutoCAD file usually has a DWG extension. This is a really common request when a company is moving from a 2D environment to 3D environment. It's really hard to figure out how to make that transition because you have all these legacy files. Um, so the first thing you might want to do is just bring in all those uh, drawings into SolidWorks. Um, another option is to actually bring those items into SolidWorks and then do a little extra work to make them into actual 3D models. So in this video I'm just going to show you how to import the file from AutoCAD to a SolidWorks drawing sheet. So I'm going to open the file and we're going to open that DWG uh, and you can just choose the defaults here create new SOLIDWORKS drawing and we're going to convert those to SOLIDWORKS entities and again I'm going to keep the default here as well um, this is where you might uh, deselect and select certain layers anything that you don't care to see you can deselect in this uh, following menu, you have the option to change your units, your paper size. I usually don't mess with any of this stuff, um, but I do want to choose center in sheet. And then I'll click finish. And now you see it's brought this onto a SolidWorks drawing sheet, but the colors are not favorable. We really need to change those to get some optimum contrast. So I'm going to go down here to my layers toolbar and if you don't see this um, this toolbar at the bottom um, you just probably don't have that layer turned on so you can right click on the command manager and find layer and just make sure that's selected and it should by default pop into the bottom of your screen. So here I'm going to change some of these layer colors. Um, I'm going to change center dim, section, and revision all to the same color, something darker. So we'll choose like a dark purple, dark purple, and dims. Okay, so as you can see this is much more readable you can add notes if you like. Um, you can um, probably add some text, maybe some uh, finish notes, something like that. Just remember though that by doing this method it's not a parametric model. It's not linked to any 3D geometry. This is really just uh, a replica of uh, what you might see on a drawing, uh, an AutoCAD drawing. So you can't go in and change these values uh, to something like you can't change the radius. So now you can simply uh, save this file. Um, it'll have a different extension dot DRW, SLD DRW, uh, give it a name and now it is a SOLIDWORKS file when you do that. Okay in my next video I'm going to show you how to convert an AutoCAD drawing into a 3D model. Thanks for watching our tech tip video.